I really don't want this to become the aero helmet testing channel, but everyone wanted to know. So here you go. The Giro Arrowhead 2 MIPS. Is this thing silly fast or is it just plain silly? Let's find out. Hi everyone, Jim from Aero Sports here, and today we have a review and aero test results for the Giro Arrowhead 2 MIPS. Now look, I don't know where to begin when describing this helmet. From the very first time it was seen publicly nearly two years ago now, to today where we've now seen many new generation helmets come out, this particular helmet still stands out as one of the most bizarre looking to ever be made. But does that matter? Do its strange looks hint at something truly aerodynamically revolutionary? Because let's face it, it looks groundbreaking. And if it is, just how fast would it need to be for the general public to use it? How fast would it need to be for you to use it? So let's start with this first. This is a Giro helmet, one of the leaders in the industry and for good reason. It's well-made, high quality, and the optics from the shield are fantastic. It goes without saying that Giro makes quality products, and this is certainly the case with the Arrowhead 2. When you buy the helmet, it comes with two shields, both dark and clear, and a very nice, if not overly sized in order to fit it, case. Um, retail price for this is $550 US uh, without tax and shipping. And if you order it online and have it shipped to you, uh, the box in which it arrives will make you think someone ordered a piece of furniture from Ikea. I mean, honestly, I knew it was coming the day it was delivered. And when I saw it on my doorstep, I had no idea what it was. So yeah, this is a big helmet. Weight-wise, this helmet weighs in at 576 grams in a size medium, compared to 468 grams for the Arrowhead Ultimate in a size medium, the previous helmet, 488 grams for the Rudy Project Wing Dream, which I mentioned because it's also a new generation helmet and plays prominently in this testing. So yes, it's on the heavy side, almost a quarter pound heavier than uh, the Ultimate but its larger surface area would probably explain why it weighs more. And, and we'll get into the weight of this helmet or more accurately, the weight distribution of this helmet later in the video. Okay, let's get to aero testing. We tested this helmet primarily against the Rudy Project Wing Dream, which is considered by many people around the world who test regularly, uh, specifically some of the more uh, popular wind tunnels, to, to be the fastest overall helmet in the world right now. And, and our data is certainly in line with what others are seeing and testing. And you'll see later, one of our athletes tested both real world and in a tunnel, and the numbers were astonishingly close. There were a few other helmets smattered in the testing, and, and we'll note those with each individual athlete's results. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. We have four test athletes for this video. Adam, Christina, Tony, and George. All tested the Arrowhead 2 versus the Wing Dream, while both George and Adam tested additional helmets. We're going to begin with Adam. His numbers might be particularly uh, interesting to some of you because he tested the Arrowhead 2 versus the Arrowhead Ultimate. And we know from previous testing with him that the Ultimate is really fast on him. And, and let's face it, the Ultimate's one of the greatest helmets ever made. Now, you can actually no longer buy that helmet, nor have you been able to for quite some time, but the regular Arrowhead is still available, at least last time I checked. And while good, it tests slower than the Ultimate due to vents being added to it. And, and no, by the way, taping over the vents really doesn't help all that much. Now, prior to testing, what I found interesting was something I recognized during the Paris Olympics last year. There were a few athletes, serious medal contenders, with full access to the Arrowhead 2, and who I know would have aero tested the helmet prior to the games, but who instead chose not to use it and stayed with the older Arrowhead Ultimate. And in one, at least in one case, the athlete went on to win a gold medal in the Ultimate. Hmm. That made me think perhaps this helmet isn't as groundbreaking as it looks, but we needed to find out. 
Okay, so we begin with Adam. Um, his baseline helmet was the Arrowhead Ultimate, and if you watched our previous video on the Rudy Project Wing Dream Arrow tests, uh, you'll know that the Wing Dream and the Ultimate tied for him. Uh, the problem was the Wing Dream we had for testing was a small medium where Adam actually wears a large helmet. And so that helmet didn't fit him, um, but we went with what we had and those two helmets tied. This time around, we had a large for him to test and uh, then there all of a sudden it was no longer tied. The difference became more clear for him. The Wing Dream in a size large was 1.46% faster or 3.5%. 3 watts. It was faster than the Arrowhead Ultimate. Then he threw on the Arrowhead 2 MIPS, and it was also 1.46% faster than the Ultimate, or 3.3 watts. I was kind of surprised by this. It didn't look like it fit him all that well, but it worked for him um, for whatever reason. So if, if, you're, if you're tying the wing dream, you're doing something right. Uh, so that was pretty good. Um, but it didn't beat it. it. They were just tied. And by the way, we tested twice. Um, two different occasions did we test these helmets, and we got the same results both times. Um, just for fun, he also threw in a cask Mistral uh, to test, which is a very, very fast helmet. Old helmet, but fast helmet. That helmet's like nine years old now. Um, and it, by the way, I guess technically would be considered the fastest of the test for him. It was it was less than half a percentage point faster uh, than the Wing Dream or the Arrowhead 2. Uh, so, you know, a, about a watt, maybe a little less than a watt difference. So not a big difference there. You have to consider that a virtual tie, but still just the same. It tested a little quicker, um, but not in a way that would make any real difference at all. Okay, let's move on to Tony, because for Tony, there was a big, big difference between these two helmets. We know the Wing Dream is a fast helmet on him, um, and so when it went up against the Arrowhead 2, uh, it wasn't even close. The Arrowhead 2 was 4.04% slower than the Wing Dream. Um, that, for Tony, amounted to 10.9 watts, well, virtually 11 watts slower. And that's incredible, but what's more important is I, I put Adam and Tony's results back to back because I want to illustrate to you that, that, that helmets, even to this day, can be very individual. And so what works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for another. And this, is a, this just really illustrates it very well. For Tony, this helmet just did not work at all. Uh, but for Adam, it worked decently. So there you go. And it actually, I also think sort of hints at something else that we'll talk about later, uh, something else in the, the direction we're going with helmet design that really might not be all that great, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, let's move on to Christina. Uh, Christina, we also tested twice. We thought the first test, um, there might have been some anomalies that we were worried about. Um, turned out we didn't need to be worried. We tested twice, got the same results both times. And for her, the Wing Dream versus the Arrowhead 2, was a virtual tie. Uh, we only tested those two helmets and they were tied. Technically, you could say the Arrowhead both times tested about one watt slower than the than the Wing Dream. So yeah, technically you could say the Wing Dream was faster, but again, when you're talking one watt, mm, that's really within margin of error, I think, at least enough to say, hey, we're gonna call this a tie. And what interested me most when I when I was looking at the video was that large tail of the Arrowhead 2 might have been covering her braid that, that was uh, the, her hair that was braided down her back, might have been covering it a little more and might have been hiding it from the wind a little more. And that's what allowed the Arrowhead 2 to sort of keep up with the Wing Dream. I don't know, I'm just speculating, but I found that interesting because otherwise it didn't look like it was gonna fit her all that well. But again, it performed very well with the wing dream and in our previous testing christina had tested the arrowhead um, the regular original arrowhead helmet against the wing dream and the wing dream just crushed it so we know the wing dreams fast on her compared to the old arrowhead not the arrowhead ultimate but the vented arrowhead Okay, so now let's get uh, on to George, because George, uh, we have both real world and wind tunnel test results, and it is quite fascinating. His helmet of choice is the HJC Adwat. That's the one he's been using. Um, it's a very good helmet. We know that's a fast helmet. 
Um, so he did his baseline with that helmet. Then he threw on the Wing Dream, and it was 1.55% faster than the Ad Watt. So about for him, about 3.1 watts, uh, certainly significant enough to pay attention to. And, uh, and uh, no surprise to us that Wing Dream is just a fast helmet. Then he threw on the Arrowhead 2, and it was 1.55% slower than the Wing Dream. So it actually tested the same as the AdWatt, and it was about 3.1 watts um, slower than the Wing Dream. Uh, so no big surprise again, that Wing Dream is just a fast helmet. However, a couple of weeks after testing, he went into the Arc Wind Tunnel in Indianapolis and tested more. And he tested the Wing Dream versus the Arrowhead 2, and pretty much got the exact same numbers, especially when we account in, in the tunnel, uh, they went out, I think, to, to 10 or 15 uh, degrees of yaw, where during his real world testing, he his, his yaw numbers were between zero and five degrees. So when we account for zero to five degrees and the speed, it was actually exactly the same. So, so the overall average in the tunnel was less than a watt difference, but when we actually accounted for yaw, it was exactly the same as 3.1 watts. Like it was just, or let's just say three watts. That's incredible. So that, that first of all tells you why we use the Ghibli G10 sensor. It thing is just phenomenal. It's so accurate, so reliable. Uh, the apps are incredible. And uh, people now around the world, uh, especially in tunnels, um, are starting to realize just how good this sensor is and kind of going, oh, you're right, we're, you know, we might be out of business here. Um, so, that, that that's why we use it and 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 it proved once again just how good it is in these tests where the the results were were identical so but and it's also good to have those backup that that backup data right it's 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 always the more data you can get the better and so in this case um, we have two sets of very different data that actually gelled with one another so good for George um, and again good for the wing dream Okay, so as you can see, in none of our testing did the Arrowhead 2 uh, win out. It was not the fastest helmet for any of our four riders. It tested well. It didn't test poorly, with the exception of Tony. It didn't test poorly. It was just never the fastest helmet for anyone. So then, what did the athletes think of the helmet? Well, again, they liked the way it was made. They had no problem with the optics out of it. But all four of them had the exact same complaint and it had to do with the weight of the helmet. And not necessarily the overall weight, although it is heavy, but it's the weight distribution of the helmet. This is a very front heavy helmet and the athletes felt it during their testing. None of them said they would use this uh, for long course triathlon in any way. And, and I, I don't think this is necessarily a triathlon helmet. I think this is a time trial helmet. And it's got, and, and before you, you decide to use it in a race that's important to you, you should probably make sure that this helmet is fast on you. So what are some other conclusions for us? Well, first of all, the helmet's fast. Uh, it's well made. But I think this helmet and many of the other newer helmets out there, with one exception, at least so far that we know of, I think there's a little bit of regression in helmet design, meaning with the Arrowhead, um, the original Arrowhead and the Arrowhead Ultimate, that was a helmet that that worked on everyone. It it might not be the fastest helmet for you. You could only know that if you tested, but you could purchase that helmet and a helmet like the Rudy Project Wing, and you could be relatively sure that if it, it, it was gonna be fast on you. It might not be the fastest, but you knew that you were spending your money on a helmet that would be fast for you. And I think the problem with some of these newer designs is you can no longer be sure of that. These helmets, unfortunately, are being designed in a way that, uh, first of all, they're being designed around particular athletes. The Specialized TT5 is designed around Remco Evenepoel. I think this Arrowhead 2 was designed around specific athletes uh, from, from Yumbo. I, I, I can't tell you that for sure, but it certainly looks that way. Um, and so that helmet's got to fit you perfectly. It's got to fit right around your shoulders perfectly, right down onto your back perfectly for it really to be fast for you. And that's unfortunate that we're getting to this, this, this 
we're, we're going backwards in helmet design because we want you as a consumer want to buy a helmet and, and know that it will work for you. And I think for a lot of these helmets, much like the Pac Tempor from many years ago, which you know you'll still see some athletes use, if it doesn't fit you right, there this might not work for you at all. And the only way to know is to test. And the only exception to that that we're seeing right now, not having tested everything, is uh, the Rudy Project Wing Dream. That helmet seems to work on everybody. No guarantee that it's going to be the fastest on you, but certainly it's going to be one of the faster helmets for you if you buy that helmet. So to me right now, that's the smart buy is the Wing Dream. Um, anything else, it's a little bit of a crapshoot right now. In the end, though, your aero results might differ, and the only way to know is for you to test. It's certainly not a bad helmet, this Arrowhead 2. It's just, again, hard to recommend given its design, given the weight, um, given its looks, when it's not really saving you a whole lot than some of the other helmets. So this brings us back to how many watts would this helmet have to save you in order for you to wear it? Well, Christina posted on Instagram that question to her followers. How many watts would this helmet have to save you in order for you to use it in competition? And one of her follow followers answered back, all of them. And <laughs> I think, uh, you know, probably no truer statement made about a helmet. Like This helmet is just so odd looking that if it's not saving you just a ton of watts and time, I'm not sure why you would you would use it. So that really, in the end, is what we have. So hey, thank you so much for uh, if you made it to the end of this video. Thanks so much. Two things: one, if you've watched more than one of our videos and haven't subscribed yet, and you're getting something out of them, we really would appreciate you subscribing. However, if you've only watched just this video, if this is your first video, I'd almost tell you don't subscribe. I mean, feel free to if you want to, but hey, let us earn your subscription by putting out some more content for you, um, and then you can decide whether or not you want to subscribe to our channel, okay? I think that's fair. Uh, otherwise, we have uh, we actually already have another video for you next week on uh, the only two ways you can get more arrow. There are only two ways, and we're going to bring that to you next week. Until then, don't be a drag, get arrow, and we will see you next week.